hello my dear students today we will be learning about pronouns at the end of the video you will be able to define pronoun identify a pronoun in a given sentence and rewrite a sentence using suitable pronouns before we start with the topic let us have a look at few examples the first example mom made some sandwiches mom makes the best sandwiches second example meet my friend rohan rohan is my classmate and the third sentence meet my friend Rohan and Lata let us offer some sandwiches to Rohan and Lata i am sure Rohan and Lata must be hang hungry so in these sentences you might have observed that the nouns like mom Rohan Rohan and Lata have been repeated again and again now let us write these sentences again in a better way so let us read these sentences again the first one is mom made some sandwiches she makes the best sandwiches meet second example meet my friend rohan he is my classmate the third example meet my friend rohan and lata let us offer them some sandwiches i am sure they must be hungry now you must have seen that the word mom has been replaced with the word she rohan has been replaced with the word he and rohan and lata have been replaced with them and they so this is the better way to write the sentences and avoid the repetitions which was done earlier in the previous slide now it will be easy for you to understand the definition of pronoun a word that is used instead of noun is known as pronoun noun is naming word so the words used in place of naming words are known as pronouns the pronoun always refers to a noun that had already been used or is known to reader or learner and why do we need a pronoun we need a pronoun to avoid repetition of words so as to improve the writing skills few examples of pronouns are i we me us you he she it his her they them let us use the pronouns and make few sentences The first one is she is Lara I like her a lot Second one you will like them too The third example says show him your doll Lara Fourth one please let me see your doll And the fifth one no the doll is mine Here in these sentences the words like she her 
यू देम हिम मी योर माई ऑल दीज वर्ड्स आर एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ प्रोनाउन समटाइम्स वाइल यूजिंग प्रोनाउन इंस्टेड ऑफ नाउन इन अ सेंटेंस वी मे हैव टू रिप्लेस नॉट ओनली द नाउन बट अदर वर्ड्स टू लेट एस लुक एट एन एग्जाम्पल फॉर बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग हेयर द एग्जाम्पल सेज मीट लारा एंड रॉय लारा एंड रॉय आर माई बेस्ट फ्रेंड्स इन द सेकेंड सेंटेंस यू कैन ऑब्जर्व दैट द वर्ड्स लारा एंड रॉय हैव बीन रिप्लेसड विद अ प्रोनाउन दे सो इन प्लेस ऑफ थ्री वर्ड्स वी हैव रिटर्न ओनली वन वर्ड विच इज गोइंग टू शो द प्रेजेंस ऑफ Lara and Roy both so the better way to write the sentence is meet Lara and Roy they are my best friends now while using the pronoun it we usually get confused where to use it and how to use it and for which noun we can use the pronoun it now i'll be explaining you this thing the first sentence i like this dog it wants to play with me here it refers to the noun dog the second sentence look at the baby it is so cute in the second sentence the pronoun it represents the noun baby and the third sentence do not sit on the bench it is so hard here in the third sentence the pronoun it represents a thing bench now students always remember that we use the pronoun it usually for animals and for things but in case we are not aware about the gender of a person whether it is a male or a female here in this second sentence baby we are not aware whether the baby is a boy or a girl a common noun has been used over here baby so the gender is not confirmed so when the gender of the person is or animal is not confirmed we use the pronoun it i hope the concept of pronoun is clear to you all now thank you for watching the video and have a great day